Good afternoon, Grapple fans, and welcome to Chinny Vision. Other wrestling, four o'clock, Saturday afternoon. But sadly, we never got a computer game with Brian Glover and Les Kellett beating each other up, or Big Daddy. Why wasn't there a Big Daddy game? Instead, what we have is WWF Wrestling, which, if you're under the age of 40, and frankly, you're not watching this, if you are, was what WWE used to be called until the people with the pandas got upset. American wrestling was bubbling under in the UK in the late 80s, and uh, some of the British wrestlers went over their giant haystacks, uh, tried his hand in the USA, all 40 stone of him. And by the early 90s, WWF has broken through Hulk Hogan, British Bulldog, and all that. And of course, there's going to be a computer game. And as soon as you say license, you think ocean. And WWF WrestleMania is a game that was published in 1991 for Christmas and is loosely based on the WWF Superstars arcade game. Now, I'm bound to get things wrong here because I'm not a wrestling expert. But hey, let's do this anyway. Never stopped me before. Starting off on the Amiga. I believe WrestleMania is an annual event that takes place. A big event, so it's the biggest event in the WWF calendar. And the game's coded by Twilight. We were quite active at this time. We've seen a few games by Twilight, including the Wacky Races game. Oh, that was last year, wasn't it? So you can practice or compete for the belt. You have three wrestlers to choose from. There's Hulk Hogan, best known for being in the A-Team, the Ultimate Warrior, and the British Bulldog, whose favourite quote is, Garlic bread? Yeah, I'm sorry. Once you see that, it looks like Peter Kay. All you can think of is Peter Kay. Apparently from Leeds, but he's not is he? He's from somewhere near Leeds. Bar is, it Barns is he from Barnsley? You might be big. You might be strong. You might. Anyway, you've got all this stuff before you begin because it's all that kind of taunting stuff that WWF used to do. Might still do. I've got no idea. And then you have to select to reply. Like, I bought my mum a bungalow or something, or, or, or booking holidays on teletext. Yes, you can skip this, thankfully, but I'm showing it you here so you can suffer it. So here we are, loading. And here we go. Oh, I've jumped out the ring there. I am the chap on the right there who's taken too many steroids. Over to the ST, where I've selected Hulk Hogan, star of the A-Team. That was a good episode. Who was the best actor, Mr. T or Hulk Hogan? I think Mr. T just, just edged it. So uh, the ST is very spartan on the sound effects. The Apparently all the moves you make are the standard ones from WWF at the time. Although they are limited and you only have one button. There is a lot of button pressing. When you fall down, like he has there, you have to press fire rapidly and then to execute certain moves, a icon will appear and you have to waggle your joystick like you're playing decathlon for your life. But we can jump down there and there's an Ikea flat chair like there like I'm sitting on at the moment. Come down here. Come on. Come down here, I'll hit you with this chair. There you go. They take, they have that and that. Oh, uh, should I be out that? Should I be out the ring this long? I don't really know the rules of this. I'm assuming what you have to do is deplete their energy and then possibly pin them down. Waggle, 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 waggle. And you have to waggle very, very, very fast. Or you, the other player, will use their signature move on you. Hulk Hogan's uh, hair trailing behind him there. Over to the PC. And I've lost my ad-lib card, or my ad-lib parallel card. So, uh, 
So they're running a little bit fast on my PC here. That should give you an idea. It's impossible on the keyboard. You will need a digital joystick, so good luck with that on a PC. Not a joypad. They're no good. Analog joysticks. They're no good. No, it's got to be a digital joypad. I'm, I'm playing this on the keyboard on my Dell laptop at the moment, and it is nearly, it, well, it is impossible. You can't waggle fast enough. So if I show you here, these are my actual fingers. These are my actual fingers trying to play this game on the keyboard. You just cannot. It is utterly impossible. You'll never be able to go between O and P fast enough to waggle the joystick icon to do your move. You just can't. As I say, I had a PC for many years and I didn't have a digital joystick. I can't imagine what this is like on an analog one and it's impossible on a joypad. That boy, is that Donald Trump in the background there? Oh, the 8 bits with a Spectrum version. I bought my copy of this in Boots and it was a cassette only. I've just been looking for it. And it's inside the Smash TV box that I bought on the same day from Boots in Aldershot when they were clearing their Spectrum stock. And I think this cost me, I think, two quid. And I don't think Smash TV was that much more. So uh, Hulk Hogan there looks like a knight from the 11th century. Uh, Crash Code is 83%, your Sinclair 91%, Sinclair user 91%. And Wyeth said it was the best two-player fighting game on the spec. And that's the thing, all these versions have a two-player mode, which, well, they completely transform this game. <laughs> they completely transform it. But here I am on the specy. I mean, both these characters basically look like Blanka from Street Fighter 2. Jumping on me. Right, I'm going to... It's... Uh, I, I, I'm constantly losing track of who I am. Because the only difference in these fights is the hair colour. I know a lot of people who watch Chini Vision are into wrestling. Uh, since, in many cases... This game came out when WWF was a massive thing and they watch WWE today and, and other wrestling. Um, it, it, something that never really grabbed me. I never really got the appeal. Neither the American variant, although I saw a bit of the British variant because you couldn't escape Big Daddy because he was this, like, live cartoon character. He was everywhere. He had TV shows. He had annuals. He was on... He was everywhere you could imagine so you couldn't escape him even <laughs> he was a rubbish wrestler he was awful but it didn't matter because he put the bums on seats that got everyone in to watch the other wrestlers if you're really into wwf you're probably going to like this game a lot more perhaps because the characters in it i'm analyzing it as a game really absolute action gave this 90 percent in a master game but let's see how it is Oh, I'm out the ring. Oh, I walk back on there. So there's not enough room for out of ring antics on any of these 8 bit versions we've seen so far. Running back and forth. I mean, it's Hulk Hogan, but equally it could be Rick Wakeman with that hair going behind him. Oh, missed. There we go. Come on. Oh, he's kicked me. He's kicked me. It's just mash the buttons, waggle the joystick, and it's ocean. So you think they think, hmm, we know, we know all about joystick waggling with Decathlon and those other games. But hey, let, let's use that in this game because that's, that's really good, waggling. C64. Apparently the game doesn't have a loading screen, which is unusual for an ocean game. It's what I've read anyway. I've loaded this off an image, but it's, it's something I read earlier. 
but it's another version that has a horrific multi-load. And I'm going to be Hulk Hogan. The weird sparkling all over the screen here for some reason on the on the C64. Speedy though. I don't like oh waggle 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 waggle. waggle. Oh no. <sighs> I don't like the energy bars on the left and right hand side. I don't see why they're not down the bottom. Come on. You'd have thought one of the budget software houses in the mid 80s would have gone, let's do a British wrestling game. I just. <laughs> it's just it's very uninspiring. The thing about. WWF was it's it's high camp and that's lots of glitz and glamour and this game does not capture any of it so that's I think I've won on the Amiga but I haven't because I need to pin the other player down it's not just a question of losing all their energy it is a question of waggle 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 yay for once I've managed to pull a move off it's not a question of just depleting all their energy, and he's empty there. I've got a bit of empty all the energy and then pin him down. Let's try and pin him down. Pin him down, right. There we go. And it's fiddly pinning him down, the opponents. It's you end up accidentally executing a drop move or something. I don't know what the name is, sorry. Incidentally, I'm really annoyed I can't do the big daddy belly flop. Is it a belly splash? Probably just research these things, but I'm doing this as usual from memory. So there's some kind of taunting there, and we've got, I don't know, what's this bloke called? The Gimp or something? Oh, right. Oh, he's got me from behind. Oh, this a bit dodgy. He's taken his mask off. Presumably he would get hot. Kendo Nagasaki didn't have this problem. Never saw him take his mark, well, apart from when he lost. There you go, looks like a... Uh, I don't quite what he, who looks like on the C64 version. I picked up that kind of jump where he's got his head in my groin, but we won't discuss that. Or that. Yeah, it's... I can see, I remember playing this with my mate on my plus three and it being more fun because there was two, one against the other. A fighting game with two player options and moves, that's fun. And where you've both got joysticks and you're waggling against each other, whereas the waggling on all of these versions by the computer seems superhuman. It takes a hell of a lot to be able to waggle. And if I'm using my zip stick, I've tried other joysticks with this. And on the CPC now. Oh, I've, I've managed to wiggle there, that waggle there though. I was trying to pin him and failed. Come on, pin, pull down, pull down. And why does the character I'm playing against have blonde hair on the right hand side icon and then actually black hair when I'm playing against him? Edmunds! It's Edmunds! Oh dear, Edmunds. Edmunds has taken quite a lot of steroids here. And uh, let's hope he hasn't got his tag team partner, Mr. Blobby. Along. Oh no, don't do that to me. Come on, no. Ah, let's get no. This game has suddenly become much more entertaining. We're on the ST now, by the way. This is much more entertaining. Wrestling Noel Edmunds. Oh. All right. Oh, no, take that. Where's the chair? Let's hit Edmunds with the chair. I want to get down there. Come on. My plan is to hit Edmunds with the Ikea chair. Come on, no. Come on, no. Take that. Take that. Oh, yeah. Got Edmunds. Suddenly, the game's improved 100%. We're on the Amiga. 
He looks so cross. He's so cross. He's, he's as cross as that Saturday he walked out of house party and didn't do it. Wrestling fans may say there's a good reason for this, but I'm just going to put this one out there while I think about it. Why can only play three characters in this game when there's more than three characters to wrestle against? Why can't I be, for example, the Mountie or the Noel Edmonds guy? I, I don't see why I couldn't be, but perhaps it's all to do with good guys and bad guys and stuff like that. Don't know. Just seems to me a wasted opportunity. Again, especially in two-player mode, where you might want to have a good guy and a bad guy. So we're, we're now wrestling the uh, man from Mortal Kombat, who looks nothing like the man from Mortal Kombat. Here he looks more like Mr. Wilkes from Emmerdale Farm. Or Jimmy Greaves. Some of the other ratings for the systems, Commodore 4 gave the C64 version 73%, Commodore format 91%, and Zap 90% for the C64. And on the Amiga, it's really interesting, Amiga Power gave it 39% on the original release. Zero gave it 82% on the ST and Amiga. And should you defeat Jimmy Greaves, you can see there the man with the long chin has been defeated and uh, Hulk Hogan reigns supreme. WWF WrestleMania. Well, as a two player game, it's actually pretty good. And I can say that from personal experience with the Spectrum version. All these versions would play superbly as two player games. As a one player game, it's an unexciting simulation of a, of a big spectacular event, of a big camp event with lots of glitz and glamour. It's just a mediocre fighting game with it's too hard to execute some of the moves and you quite often end up executing the wrong moves. All these versions are competently done and tailored to their specific systems. None of them are awful, none of them are spectacular. 16-bit versions pretty much look all the same, with only differences being the ones you'd expect. And actually, for the 8-bit versions, the same thing again. My only criticism of all across all these versions is on the spectrum. It's sometimes too hard to tell yourself apart from your opponent. It's just a cash-in game on the popularity of WWF. And it's great there is a wrestling game, because there's not a lot of wrestling games on well, the 8 or 16-bit computers. The trouble is, it lacks the fun and spectacle of WWF, and what you get is a rather sanitised fighting game that just lacks, well, fun. Unless you're in two-player mode, that is. <laughs>